Hello, and welcome to a detailed review of Charlotte's Bear by Angelic Pretty. In this section, we will be looking at detailed close-ups of the lace, bows, shearing, trim, buttons, ribbon, charms, and the print of the dress. The right strap of the dress has a lovely little bow on it. You'll notice a double wing on the ribbon. Moving down, we have some gold trim. On the left strap, there is also a small detail bow, though on this one you can see an extra layer with a gold charm as well. Here on the front, you can see more details of the lace and trim, as well as some small bows. There is a lovely medium-sized bow at the waist as well. And we have some polka-dotted custom lace at the hem as well. Here we have a full top to bottom pan of the dress so that you can take in all the little details. Moving to the back, you can see that there is full shearing and lace-up ribbons as well. This dress does have detachable waist ties. You can see the buttons are a white with a pearl finish and a small gold detail on the inset. You will also notice that the straps are adjustable via buttons on the inside back of the bodice. In this section, we will look at the print artwork details. Here we have some color swatches and the overall imagery and motifs of the dress. I would say this print gives me a very nostalgic feel. We have the lavender bears. We also have a multi-tiered cake display with macarons and cupcakes. In the background, we have several different colored books and miscellaneous items such as frames, lamps, a rocking horse, and some hat or gift boxes. In this section, we will look at the silhouette options for this dress. I will feature three different looks, one with no petticoat, the second will feature one petticoat, and the third will have two. The common Lolita silhouette does usually feature at least one petticoat under a dress, but just for your reference, here it is, completely by itself. Next, we see the dress with one bell-shaped petticoat underneath. This is likely the most common way this dress would be worn. Here we see the dress with two bell-shaped petticoats underneath. The one on top is a little bit lighter and fluffier, while the one on the bottom is a little thicker and more structured. This section will hopefully help you understand more of the fit and measurements of this dress. The maximum measurements for the bust is 38 inches, waist 32 inches, and the length is 37 inches. Since I will be modeling the dress, my measurements for reference are bust of 32 inches, waist of 25 inches, and my height is 5 foot 2 inches. You can see that the bodice has a mid-rise, straight-across neckline. The waist of this dress on me sits slightly above my natural waist. I would not specify this as an empire waist myself, but do be aware that it does sit slightly above the natural waistline. Here you can see the lacing and shearing is not really being used very much, but there is plenty of room if you do need it. And moving down into the skirt, the footage cuts off a little before you can see where it hits, but I am 5 feet 2 inches tall, and this dress hits me at just below my knees. In this section, we will talk about color matching. What color blouse would you need with this dress? White, ivory, or would either work? 
Here you can see a comparison of the lace on the dress compared to an ivory blouse with a white lace on the trim. Here is a better look at the dress paired with an ivory blouse. The blouse does have white lace on the trim, as you can see on the sleeve. I personally think this dress goes well with either ivory or white, so hopefully that helps you use it with more of what's in your closet. In this section, I will cover miscellaneous items about the dress, such as fabric weight, pockets, the inner layers of the dress, and a more detailed look at the print as expanded over a petticoat. As many of the newer angelic pretty dresses have, this dress does have a single pocket on the right hand side. While the pocket is easy to access, when the dress is being worn it is not noticeable. I would say that the weight of the fabric of this dress is medium to light. I think it would be ideal to wear in the springtime and early summer. Here is a close-up look of the print as it has been expanded over two bell-shaped petticoats. The skirt of this dress is comprised of two layers. Here I will include some recommended styling for this dress. This first look is what I would call classic and casual. This is probably something that I would wear in the spring or summertime for a quick lunch out. With this look, I've included a straw boater hat, a short sleeve blouse, some simple but cute accessories, a straw bag to help match the boater hat, and some cute ruffled ankle socks and pink tea party shoes. This next look is more of a sweet and cute style. This is something that I would wear out for a local tea party or maybe a trip to the museum. I've styled this look with a beret and a brooch and used a lavender wig to make it a little more of a cute, fun look. I've added some more rings, an usakumiya bag to tie in with the stuffed animal theme, some knee-high socks with lavender to match, and some gold tea party shoes. The final look with this dress is a more classic and elegant look. I would wear something like this to a large community tea party or to more of an extravagant event. This look is styled with an elegant over-the-top headpiece, long luxurious wig, jewelry that's very sparkly and royal looking, a neutral colored bag as to not overwhelm the rest of the accessories, some lovely lace tights, and some angelic pretty party heels. Thanks so much for watching my detailed review of Charlotte's Bear from Angelic Pretty. I hope it gave you all the information you need and you enjoyed learning with me today. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to my channel for more Lolita content or check out one of my other videos shown below. See you next time!